So, we've got 30 for the username. For the first name, for the password, I'll give it one anyway. And perhaps you could specify a minimum length as well. Um, well, no, we can't actually do this, but but I mean in, in PHP we could give it a, mi a, a minimum length that it needs to be for security reasons. Um, in fact, I'll leave this out for now because uh, I don't want to be writing too much code and waste too much time. So, uh, max length, okay, so we'll put a max length in here for the um, first name, and that's going to be 40, remember, Ooh, 40. And the same here for the surname, max length equals 40. So let's save that and go back to our page, and we'll just see how that's changed our form itself. Let's go back on register. Okay, so first name, let's type in a load of rubbish, and we can see when it stops. Okay, you can see that I'm still typing. You can probably hear my keyboard, but you can see it's not typing anything. So that's okay. Let's do the same with surname. Okay, you can probably hear that I'm still typing. However, um, the uh, input's not working. And then the same with username. Okay, you can see that stopped as well. So that's fair enough, but now we need to ensure that it's checked by our PHP script as well. Now I'm not going to be able to test. I'm not going to be testing this um, by sort of downloading this file, or modifying it because I've already got access to it. So when we test it in PHP, I'm just going to remove the max length. So we've got max length of 30 for the username, 40 for the first name and surname. So let's come up and find out where are we going to put this check. What's the best place uh, that we could possibly put this check? Well, we're checking here if the username and everything else is not empty. So a good place to do it would be to do it underneath this because we want to check the max length after we've checked that it's not empty. So let's um, we'll indent in and then we'll um, we'll uh, indent the rest of our code in in a minute. So we're going to create an if statement with a condition here and then start a block. The block ends after this, so it'll be down. Let's just double check where it would be. So if we come over to this one here, it's going to be if and then if else. It would be here. Um, so let's indent the rest of this. It might be there anyway, we might return an error, but it's hard to hard to see when you're doing things like this. So what we want to say is if um, strlen of username is greater than 30 um, and remember this is the condition and then we say else the rest of the code so if the string length string length of username is greater than 30 or the string length of uh, first name is greater than 40 or the string length of surname is greater than 40 um, we need to echo please adhere to max length of fields now the reason we're not giving a user friendly message here is the only reason this would ever um, this error would, would ever be returned if someone had modified the form themselves max length is a standard property for input types so therefore all browsers will pick up this max length and they'll always allow you only a max length so we're only doing this if people are going to mess around with our form. So let's change the max length up to 100 uh, for each of them so we can test this. And then we'll change them back in just a moment. Oh, I want to save that. Let's, uh, save. Okay. So let's uh, refresh the page. Okay, so let's enter a load of rubbish into there. Okay. Uh, let's enter a password sensibly because we need this to match. Um, and a load of rubbish into here and a load of rubbish into here let's click register and it says please adhere to max length of fields okay so now let's sensibly register a user okay so let's click register and it says you've registered let's go over to our database to check that that's, everything's worked and you can see that that's worked 
So let's go back before we do anything else. Or oh, well, this is the end of uh, the tutorial. But let's change these back. Make sure you have your max length in here. So what we've done is we've corrected a few undefined variable and undefined index errors. And we've also changed a part of the form validation, which might not immediately be... Um, you know a priority for some people people might not think about it straight away but you are in fact going to cut data off if you submit or allow your users to submit too much data so for example if it was a description about themselves you might want to limit them to 200 300 you know 500 characters um, but then you need to take into account that you need to limit them otherwise your data is going to be cut off when you submit it in um, in uh, in MySQL there are some exceptions, you can give it the text data type which will allow you, I can't remember how many characters, but quite a few characters, but always, always, always give a max length in your field and also do the relevant checks inside your PHP code as well.